All right, guys, so here we have the case of an extraction of number nine and an immediate implant placement. Uh, patient reports with uh, trauma to eight and nine. Today we're just going to be addressing nine. I think in the future we'll probably be addressing eight as well. We start with an intracircular incision with this microblade being very, very gentle with the soft tissues. We're not actually going to elevate this tissue, and you'll see why in just a second. We we'll start on the facial, we go to the lingual, and separate all of those fibers around the neck of the tooth. I'm going to get on it with the straight forceps and create rotational forces. Now, as you guys know from previous videos, I love the ash forcep because of the mechanical advantage that it allows me. But for video purposes, the straight looks better so you can actually see that we're creating rotational forces. And what we've done in this particular case is we haven't cut any of the time out because I want you to see that it takes about maybe 15 seconds here to take this tooth out. Rotational forces are key. Now, right after you do this extraction, you have to assess whether that buccal plate is intact. And what I'm doing is I'm using a curette to kind of feel where that margin is. And the margin's two to three millimeters below the free gingival margin, the crest of the bone is. And so that's perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and decorticate the walls of the, of the socket so that it bleeds really nicely. We put our type four surgical, surgical guide in place and we step through our osteotomies. Each one of these drills is bigger in diameter, but they are all the same length. So this is a diameter increasing guided surgery kit from BioHorizons. And notice as we take this last drill out, you'll see that we've got good bone on the drill and it just falls off right there. And we're coming in with our guided implant placement, so fully guided. There's a little plastic snap link and when that snap link touches the top of the master cylinder right there, that means we're down and we're at the proper depth. We're going to place a healing cap on top of our our, our implant temporarily. And the reason we're going to do this is we're going to graft around it. So we're gap grafting. We're using Mineros, which is a cortical concellus chip. And we're using the Salvin Curved Pocket Packer, the Titanium Curved Pocket Packer. And what that allows you to do is get down and condense the bone lightly around the gap between the implant and the walls of the socket. After that's done, we're going to go ahead and lightly retrieve, very delicately retrieve that healing cap. And in this particular case, we have created a Stanley Anti-Rotation Wings product. These wings are temporary on our, our provisional that was already made before the surgery. It was made off of the digital file. And when we tighten this into place, these wings will prevent the crown from rotating. And the reason we're doing this is that we're using a non-hexed abutment, meaning there's no anti-rotation in the abutment to implant interface. And look how fast those wings are removed. You come in with a coarse diamond, knock the wings off, polish them with a soft flex disc, and you're done. So it's a really, really nice solution. It only takes a few seconds, as you can see. We've gone ahead and tightened it. We're placing our PTFE in, this, in the access hole, a little bit of composite, to finish the case. And then what we're going to do is we're going to check occlusion. And we're going to make sure that this is a non-functional provisional. And then because this is a man, we're going to tell him 10 times that he is not allowed to eat a hoagie with this temporary tooth. This is a show tooth. Just joking about the men, but not really. Okay, so checking occlusion, just kind of refining the, the composite access on the, on the facial there, making sure that it looks pretty lovely. So this whole procedure probably took about 12, 13 minutes to do. In real time, we're checking occlusion, and you can see why I started off by saying we don't want to do any elevation of that soft tissue. We want to keep that soft tissue intact, and this is how the patient presented one week after the immediate implant placement. So if you want to learn more, please subscribe to our channel. If you're ready to learn it all, please don't miss out on our next class. You can see the descriptions and the details below.